So this is the CT scan of this patient sustained a road traffic accident. So you can see the fracture in the symphysial region very clearly. It's a minimally displaced one. And there's also a very, very faint subcondylar fracture, if you see here. It's an undisplaced one, just a crack. We're gonna let that be. We will be using some arch bars and elastics later on. So there's a mandibular fracture here, which is exposed. You can see the occlusal discrepancy also. And let me show you how it's moving. You can see that? It's moving from the lower border. Hope you can appreciate that. So we're gonna reduce this and fix it. So reduction is by moving this part of the fragment outwards and moving this backwards. You can see that now. So we've got good occlusion. Once we get this, we'll use plates to fix and then we'll be using So you can see we've used one four hole plate, there's the two mm screw, four screws, eight mm, and we've fixed it at the lower bottom. Not going to be using another plate, it's not needed because it's not majorly displaced. Plus, we have an arch bar here. So that's mental nerve on the left side. We've not exposed on the right because we don't need to. The fracture is running a little bit towards the left side. And you can see the occlusion. We've got perfect occlusion. Just gonna show you that. Look at that. So occlusion is perfect as well. And now it's time to suture this up. So we've completed now. We've sutured up as you can see. A perfect occlusion. We've got arch bars on both the jaws because we want to use some elastics later on because patient has an undisplaced fracture of the condylar head on one side. So this is just in case. But the occlusion is really good now. As you can see it's perfect.